Okay, guys, leaving where we left off last time. We accomplished our nose cone shape. And hidden away, I do have my body outline as well as the side fin and the fins folder. So we have three layers with three drawings, one on each one. They are not stuck into any other layers. And we know that because when we poke those layers in the eye, it hides one thing at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for nose cone. Boop. Goodbye. And we are going to move on to the exhaust vent. Now the exhaust vent is going to be this tail end right here of our sketch. And we are going to create this exhaust vent using several different tools. We are going to use the rectangle tool to get the base shape. Then we're going to use the line tool to give it this kind of pointed fin area right here. And then we'll come back with some circles to get the holes in our exhaust. Now when we do all this though, we're going to use what I like to call kamikaze layers. These layers that we just basically create only to draw something in, cut and paste it back where we need it, and then delete it. So, let's get into our exhaust vent layer. It should be yellow. It has to be yellow for you to draw on that layer. And of course, let's unlock it. Now to get started, we are going to use our rectangle tool. Right there below our line tool. And again, like every other tool we've used, our properties panel is now all about the rectangle tool. Your stroke color should still be that bright color that you've been working with. For fill, let's not do a fill again. So for that paint bucket color, we're going to hit that no smoking sign. And last but not least, of course, you probably guessed it, stroke weight is still 5. So when I come out here to use my rectangle tool, it's going to give me some crosshairs. And I'm just going to pick a corner of my rectangle shape right here, doesn't matter which one. I'm going to click and I'm going to pull, and you're going to see that rectangle begin to appear. And it's not going to be perfect, but we're going to adjust it. Try to get pretty close to that size. That looks pretty good. Now which tool over here allowed us to push pull our lines? Yes, the selection tool, so that very top black arrow. So I can come in here and I can curve these lines to match. And I can also adjust these corners. So if I was a little big, I can bump them in onto where my sketch should actually be. And then adjust my lines again. Lovely. Next portion is going to be this little pointed area that's hanging off. I'm going to poke this in the eye real quick. You're going to notice that this outside outline of our rectangle doesn't cross through here. So we're going to have to draw this in a different way. So what I need you to do is lock your exhaust vent layer. We're going to come back to it. We're going to draw this portion right here in a new layer. And then we're going to paste it into exhaust vent. So let's make one new, brand new layer right here. It doesn't matter what it's called because, again, we're going to delete it. And in this new layer, with your line tool, you can begin to draw the two lines that you're going to need for this shape. Now, again, please, 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 exhaust vent has to be locked. If you draw in this layer, it's going to mess everything up. You have to draw in this new layer, so make sure it's locked because it's going to want to snap down and stick to that other layer. So here I go. I'm going to take my line. I'm going to draw it. And it's okay if you make it a little bigger, a little more pronounced. I'm going to do the same thing right here. Make sure your magnet's turned on so it snaps. Awesome. Now, in my sketch, this is kind of curved a little bit. So I'm going to come back again with that black arrow and I'm going to curve it. You have to curve it in this kamikaze layer because once you take it down into here, it's going to be stuck to our drawing. So we have to fix it now. So any adjustments size-wise you need to make, now's the time to do it. Alright, once you're happy with your little shape right here, there is actually two ways that we can select it. We can use the black arrow like we have been and click and drag a box. 
or if you like a little faster method than clicking and dragging, you can also come up here and just click on the words, layer one, just once, and you'll see that it instantly highlights everything in your layer. So if you have a really complex drawing, this is a great way to grab everything at once and know you didn't miss anything. So now the fun part. We are going to use our kamikaze layer to add this shape to our exhaust vent. So I'm going to come up here with it selected to edit, and I'm going to cut that out. Now I can come back into exhaust vent. I'm going to click in that layer so it knows that's where I'm going. If you're still in layer one, you're just going to paste it right back there, and it's going to do you no good. So in exhaust vent, I'll do an edit, and this is the key. Do not do paste in center. Do not do paste special. You're going to do paste in place, and it's going to stick it right back exactly where it was. Isn't that handy? Now, since our lines have crisscrossed, if I click this one little line right here where they intersect, Remember the other day I kind of showed you guys how that worked? It chops our lines in half anytime they touch. I can just hit delete and boom, it's gone. And hey, look, there is the beginning of my exhaust vent. Come in here, maybe double check, make sure these guys are okay. Yep, they're connected. We should have no holes, and I can even double check that. Lovely. Double check, make sure you have no holes. We don't want to worry about fixing all that in a day or two. That would be no fun. And if you don't have any holes, of course, go back and delete them. That would be also another great time to save. Okay, we are going to lock our exhaust vent one last time. We use our kamikaze layer. There should be nothing in this layer. I know that because if I poke it in the eye, nothing disappears. It's just an empty layer we're drawing in. You're going to do these little circles right here. Now they're kind of really close to this edge and it's going to mess things up. So when we draw our circles, we're going to just kind of place them in your empty space right here, however you feel looks best. So let me get my circle tool. And of course, I don't want to fill again. We can come back and color that later. And our stroke weight is really heavy, so I'm going to turn this down to 2. So again, bright color, no fill, stroke weight 2. So see how it's a little skinnier, so it'll be a little easier to see. So with your circle tool, your oval tool, I want you to come and hold shift and draw one perfect circle. It doesn't have to be too terribly large. And this is cool, you're going to like this. Once you've drawn a little circle, or a leaf, or a paw print, whatever it is you've made, and you want to copy it, we can hold down Alt, <clears throat> excuse me, like we did in Photoshop, and with it selected in our Move tool, we can then clone it across the layer. So look, I just have a perfect circle exactly like the other one, and I didn't have to use a whole lot of effort. I'm going to clone it again. I'm going to hold down Alt, one right over here. Use my little arrows on my keyboard to get it in the perfect spot. I might just have one down here instead of two. However big yours are, you can decide how many you have. Then with our kamikaze layer, our layer one, I need to select all these circles because we're going to transfer them back to the exhaust vent layer. So I can either select them all again by clicking on the word layer 1, or I can highlight, simply cut it, swap back to exhaust vent, unlock it, do a paste in place. Now I am done with layer 1. It is a kamikaze layer. It is done. Goodbye. Delete. And my exhaust vent layer is finished. I've used my rectangle tool to build my base shape. I came back with my 
selection tool and adjusted it so it looked a little more curved. And in that kamikaze layer, I did this tip and pasted it in there. Deleted this line where it crisscrossed so it broke it into pieces for me to grab. In that kamikaze layer also I did these three circles or four circles, however many you have, and cloned them across my layer with the Alt tool so they were exact duplicates of each other. And last but not least, I cut them out and then pasted them back into Exhaust Vent, and it is good to go. Please save and lock Exhaust Vent. We're done with it for now. And you are ready to move on to the next tutorial.